In 2019, the University of Bristol and the University of Strathmore in Nairobi, Kenya, signed an agreement for a strategic partnership in data science and data intensive research. It's really important to have these kinds of strategic partnerships because they allow research communities to come together to address challenges which are very difficult to solve as individual organisations. The first phase of this partnership took the form of a data week of training and research development activities to scope out ways in which data science and data intensive research can be used to address some of the most challenging societal issues facing the world and particularly Africa today. During that week we were able to provide training free at source in data science and data intensive methodologies to a large cohort of participants drawn from the universities and beyond. We hope that this is the beginning of a long-term relationship with the university that will provide both opportunities for research and training for individuals, but also together give us an opportunity to address some of the key challenges facing Africa today. Matt, you were a key part of um, the delivery team for Strathmore University of Bristol Data Week. Can you tell us a bit about what part you played? Over the few days, we taught them right from the very introductory programming level, teaching them the Python programming language, teaching them how they can collaborate together with their code to uh, make sure they're getting backups and looking at how they can uh, recover earlier versions of their code and share their code with their colleagues and people outside of their local community. And then towards the end of the week, we look more into the real techniques and tools that are available for data analysis, machine learning, and how to visualize your data in a useful way. Modern visualization tool format simplifies the volumes of data into just say a kilobyte image or a megabyte image. And then you say this is how this field looks like in terms of deforestation. Just by taking like, a vast land size in just single image, you're able to say to people, this is how bad things look, this is how good things look. This is something we have shown here this week, where we have very different types of data sets, but uh, the analysis techniques that you use are quite similar and transferable. It really demonstrates that by pushing the frontiers of fundamental research, you develop skills and methods that you can apply elsewhere where they will have a strong impact. The workshop was actually my introduction to data science and interacting with different tools for data science and it's really taught me that data science helps us understand the big why, why we're doing this, what am I trying to solve exactly. When you're facing a challenge, it helps you go to the root cause and I find that really, really interesting. With Bristol University, we've seen that we can actually build skills among our youth that has been a big gap, bring in new expertise in the region, share experience and build a community of data science. Data science, it's a new area that many young people can exploit to develop their career. Many challenges that face Africans can be resolved through data. And above all, I think we look at our private sector, they don't have proper skills to really make proper data-driven decision making. So data science holds the key to the better future of the continent.